Do you want to know what Faust will look like the new map for World of Tanks Blitz and Update 5.2? Join us today on our little guided tour. Welcome back ladies and gentlemen Tankers of Blitz Universe. My name is Martin Dogger and I have an update 5.2 preview for you today in the form of this new map for World of Tanks Blitz. It's named Faust, it is a naval slash arctic region uh, rocket base so probably it should have been named seven i uh, named after the rocket base which features in the james bond movie golden eye but yeah what's in the name this one is named faust and it's going to be here in a few days in update 5.2 and i want to show you why i like this map pretty much i've only been able to drive around on it in training rooms and against bots so no real battles done yet but I like this one, I like this one a lot. And I'm going to tell you exactly why as we drive around in the Cruel Twist in the Leichter Kampfpanzer M1940 mm Bulldog with uh, the new uh, lovely camo on. And you can see I'm driving around on the outer edges of the map. And it is huge. It is a very big map. Um, I'm going to cover all the aspects of the map. I'm going to drive around on all the little bits left and right. The gameplay is shot on my uh, laptop, which explains why it's a bit laggy. It's not as uh, quick as my Android uh, for some reason or another, but I just couldn't get the Android client to load properly. And I wanted to show this anyway. If you want to have uh, access to more update 5.2 preview videos, do subscribe to my channel. I will be featuring some more stuff also on the ribbons, for example. And yeah, we have a 6k giveaway coming up very soon as well. So do click on that subscribe button, hit notifications as well, and you will never miss an update again. Back to Faust. Why do I like this map? There's actually three reasons why I really like it. First of all, the attention to detail is just great. It is an Arctic region. It has really, really nice lighting uh, from my perspective. I quite like it. It's not as dim as, and dark as the uh, all the vineyards, um, but I like the atmosphere of the map. It's gloomy, it's chilly, love it, really love it. Second, I think this map has something for everybody you can see me driving around on the middle area first i had taken the entire big lap around from uh, my spawn to the red spawn and back to my spawn again but you can see this is a, this map has flanking possibilities everywhere yeah there are little ramps up and down there are just a few bushes around i'll get to that later as well but you can see you can flank at a pinch just mini flanks uh, really are really big flanks all around the map there's ramps on the left side on the right side there are big drops left and right yes you can crash through those uh, little fences if you want to but this just looks great and the third one um, is the size of the map if you look at the bottom left at the mini map you can see that uh, it practically uses the entire possible size so it's not a very small map there have been a lot of complaints from people uh, lately that wargaming have made the maps very small or not suitable for tank destroyers or only for heavies and i think this map has yeah has a lot for everybody it has very open terrain on the top left and the bottom right you can see straight or not straight into red spawn but you can see uh, quite far into uh, approaches from the other spawn if, um, if that's yeah that's a proper description really you have a few very long lines of sight which will cater to tank destroyers but there are no really spots where a tank destroyer can just sit like on canal for example on, on, on the ridges where a tank destroyer can just sit and pick enemies apart and i quite like that i quite like the fact that a tank destroyer has to be played sensibly that you do have a long line of sight but it's not going to be easy you will need your team your mediums your lights to spot for you heavies in this area the bottom left of the mini map they can have a field day sitting there side scraping you can already see if you imagine you are in a hull down tank there's a lot of hull down possibilities this one is a nice hull down possibility but you can get flanked on your left and right side very quickly as well so i think this map caters for everybody of course light tanks and medium tanks with the open spaces they will have the advantage of their mobility but it doesn't mean that it is a map that favors at least 
that's what I get from this first little preview that favors heavies or tank destroyers. This will probably be a position where tank destroyers will want to sit very quickly because you can see you have a lines of sight to your left, to your right, to the front, down below, into uh, the cap area. But if you're spotted over here, um, then you will have a bit of a problem because for all intents and purposes, this is pretty much an open space. And you can't just drive to the left or to the right and then bugger off because that's a very pretty high dive there. You will lose some hit points. So the only way to get here is through this ramp and um, on the left and the right side. Accessible from either spawn, pretty much similar. Um, took the time there. I think the spawns are pretty balanced as well. Also, if you look again at the mini map, you can see that, yeah, to get to the cap area here in the middle or to that sniper spot or to uh, the big rocket base, it takes practically the same time. I don't th think, or at least there doesn't seem to be either spawn that is very uh, has a big advantage over the other spawn in terms of getting to key positions. It's of course hard to already note what positions will be key to get if you want to win on this map. Um, but what I do like as sad is the open areas as well. A few big drops <laughs> available as you can see here. And what I'm going to do now is drive back into my spawn and then you can see the very long line of sight to uh, the upper right hand side of the minimap. Um, I'm going into the corner, there will be probably be tank destroyers base camping. And yeah, if you manage to spot them over there, you can see Fjom from the view range finder. It's 160 to the first lamppost, but then further up there, if you have a tank destroyer there with camo on or a camo net, yeah, they can really shoot at long range. So that's that's really good. It caters for every type of tank, I think. If you go to supremacy mode, then you can already see it is a four base supremacy, and from the green spawn, <laughs> C easily captured. From red spawn, D easily captured. But it might be a one way you can get to fairly quickly, but there's a few areas where people might be able to shoot HC on you and then reset the cap. Then B is a base which is pretty close to the other ones as well. But A is very far away and I like this one. It's not like Himmelsdorf which has four cap possibilities or Canal where there is one cap which is pretty easily captured and then you have two other caps which are far away. This one, C, D, it's going to be very heavy fighting around over here or there will be teams who just go towards A which is a pretty long drive from either spawn or if you want to go from the B spawn. They will go to A, try to fight it out over there and then try to get the clock up to 1000 as well. But you can see if you want to go in here, if you want to side scrape, there is no position where you can really park your tank and then sit there for one minute or any longer and then expect to live. And that's because this map has lots of flanking possibilities and yeah I've mentioned it a few times but I like uh, the flanking type of gameplay. I like to play in mediums but I do like to play in heavies as well. So yeah to sum up again I think this map caters for every type of tank. Few long lines of sight good possibilities to side scrape and excellent flanking possibilities it is a large map and i think it is a pretty nice and detailed map as well so that's my preview for faust the new map in world of tanks blitz in update 5.2 i see you all on the next video ladies and gentlemen tanks of blitz universe cheers and happy tanking